$140,000. All this is paid for by PACs, and it still comes. And these PACs right here, these are run by Stafford Jones, okay, which handles all the establishment PACs. You can print that, but y'all probably know him very well. And, and I'm sure y'all, all I'm saying is one guy controls the establishment money and all the PACs. So all you got to do is look and say, okay, it's whatever. Uh, this one is Northeast Florida Values. Go look it up on the internet. Stafford Jones runs it. You can pick any pack from any establishment person. Stafford Jones is the owner of that. Like I said, like I said, I'm a developer. Stafford Jones. You go look at the financial trade, financial reports with treasures of all these candidates that are linked in with them. Stafford Jones is their campaign treasurer. Uh, All right, and one more question. Um, so, do you guys think that this is really an issue, um, or are you guys upset that your candidates always lose? I, this, this was this was an issue. Uh, Al Gore uh, is a two-time, uh, two-term uh, candidate that has been elected in this office, and he is not part of that. So saying that I'm concerned my guy loses, no, that, that's not it. We're concerned that uh, we see other candidates that cannot financially afford to push back against the establishment getting beat down. Fortunately, Norm and I have the resources to push back and fight back, but it's just it's senseless. It's a waste, it's a, it's a waste of money that our constituents are given, donating to us, that we have to sit there and push back against this nonsense. Out of control. So just to say that we are against uh, this because it's, we lose. No, that, that, that's, that's who, totally. who really loses are the citizens. You gotta understand, like in our press conference, they don't target informed voters. Okay, they're going at an informed voter knows what to do with this. You throw it at the garbage or you start a fire with it. They're going after low information voters. Okay, they're a par they're parasitic. Okay, they attach to you, they suck all the blood out of you, and when there's no more blood left, they move on to the next host. That's how these people operate. They're subterranean. They will not come out and engage us in public in any any issue dealing with our district or our city. They sit in their holes, they put this garbage out from their parasitic domain, and they expect the voter who's dumb it down to sit here and believe it. Oh, well, Norm must be a liberal. Norm must be bankrolling. Democrat extremists, without doing any homework, they take that on, on face value. And I'm telling you, the fact of the matter is, it's a ball face lie. It is a ball face lie. If any of those establishment candidates that we're running against want to come out here and challenge us to, to actual issues, because we have issues in our city that we can address instead of wasting our time on this crap, then come on out. We're not hard to find. We will make ourselves available. But the fact of the matter is, in my race, Raul Larius, has had three opportunities to go to a uh, candidate's forum, three. Not set up by me, but set up by groups within our district. He's failed to show up for one. He's gonna show up? He won't show up, and i tell you this, if he won't show up now, he won't show up if you put him in office. It definitely, it is truly the definition of insanity. All we're trying to do is break the cycle and give people a choice. All right, sir, well, thank you so much. All right, thank you for coming you. out. Yes, yeah, ma'am.